As a streamer and content creator, the release of Intel's new 10 series processors has me excited. But not by a lot, and let me tell you why. Welcome to today's video, and today we're going to be talking about a few things regarding the new 10 series CPU processors from Intel, and what my recommendations are surrounding those. Now there are a few things regarding the new Intel chipsets that we kind of need to talk about and get out there. And the first thing is we're going to have to get used to saying 10900 and 10700. It just doesn't roll off the tongue like 9900 and 9700, right? 10900, 10700. Anyway, second is going to be the hyper threading, which allows the new Intel CPUs to perform much better under multitasking loads. And it is said that Intel has made a point to make this as good as possible to compete against the Ryzen 3000 series chipsets, which are amazing at multitasking and has always been good for if you are a streamer and multitasking is kind of a thing. And lastly, it's going to be the clock speed, as Intel has said that the new clock speeds will be able to reach up to 5.3 gigahertz. What's more amazing is that this will actually be reachable in the new H series laptops as well. Now, Intel did lead the reveal with the new i9-10900K that will be priced around $500 with a base clock of 3.7 GHz that can be overclocked to 5.3 GHz. Now with that being said, the i7 has similar speeds to the i9, but of course will be a little cheaper than that, which in my opinion will make the i7 the kind of best bang for your buck in this 10 series lineup. On the hyper threading side, this will definitely help boost performance when using a 10 series CPU for streaming and gaming on a single PC setup, as the processor will be better equipped to handle multiple processors like gaming, handling all your alerts, as well as just encoding the stream itself. But one thing to just keep in mind is that AMD still has more cores, their cores run more efficient, they are running on the new 7 nanometer technology while the Intel 10 series are still on 14 nanometer. Why are they not going down yet? So don't abandon AMD, all you Intel fanboys and fangirls out there. They might, they might still take the lead. Now here you can see the lineup of the new CPU showing the model, clock speed, cores, and recommended price. Now to just touch on what all the letters mean for those of you who don't know, if the processor has a K in front of it, it means it is an overclockable, or as Intel likes to call it, an unlocked CPU. If it has an F in front of it, it means the CPU doesn't have dedicated graphics, which means you will need to get a GPU for that. But if you are buying this for gaming, you don't really mind because you'll be getting a GPU anyway. And just to keep that in mind, if you're not buying this for gaming, just, just a little side note that you actually do pay cheaper for the CPUs that have the F because they don't have the dedicated graphics, but it's still the same CPU in essence. So you can save a little money if you want to buy an i9, but you don't want to spend the entire $500. Just bring it down a little and get yourself the F model. That way you still have a decent CPU, but you're not paying for the dedicated graphics you're not using. And then of course, there's also the H's and the Q's but those are mainly for laptop and you will not see those when you're actually buying components for your desktop PC. Now, before you all drop your old 9th series CPUs for the new 10 series CPUs, keep in mind that Intel claims that you will get around a 10% boost in games and around an 18% boost while editing 4K video, because we all edit 4K video. But with that being said, it's probably not worth upgrading your 9th to a 10th unless you are in the esports scenes where every little bit of performance is important or if you do a lot of video editing and that slight boost in performance can actually help you save a lot of time in the long run. If you are none of those above then consider keeping your 9th series CPU unless you have a lot of money then go and buy a 10th series CPU or if you're buying a new PC also keep in mind that the old 9th series might drop in prices due to the release of the new ones you can actually probably get yourself a good deal on a 9th series CPU compared to just buying a new 10th series CPU. So when do they release? Now the overclockable or the K series CPUs are set to release in May 2020, so around about now. And the rest set to release later on in the year. And if you're looking for a non-overclockable CPU, you're going to have to be a little patient on that one. So in conclusion, the 10th series is definitely a solid upgrade for someone that has a 7th or lower series CPU, 
If you don't run anything lower than a 7th gen, upgrading to a 10th gen is just not worth it in my opinion. But also keep in mind that AMD has been making a lot of waves in the industry. So do not keep your eyes off of AMD. Keep your eye on them as well, as in a few years they might be the new favorite when it comes to CPUs. So in my opinion, if you're only going to be gaming alone, you can get either an Intel or an AMD. AMD is cheaper, so probably best bang for your buck just to go for the AMD. But if you're actually buying this for streaming, I would definitely still suggest going for an AMD processor as they are much cheaper and they're much better at handling multitasking as no one has been able to test any of these new 10th series CPUs and anything lower than that on Intel just doesn't have that hyper layering, which means you're just not getting that multitasking that you actually do with AMD. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate that. Also, if you have any questions, leave them down in the description below or come ask me live while I'm on Twitch. I stream on Twitch every Sunday, Monday and Wednesday afternoon. Come and hang out or come and ask questions. Hope to see you there. Until next time. Cheers. There's a car, car uh, right there. Oh, he's down and he's dead. Teamwork. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> well done, dude. Well done.